Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I've had a few requests um, to take a look at some of the wiring. And I just redid some of the wiring in my boat for the uh, live scope unit. So I'm going to show you how I, uh, how I have mine done. Now what I've done is I housed my battery in a battery box. I made the battery box because I've had some problems with uh, the battery. They keep saying it's getting wet. And so I made a waterproof housing for it. And uh, I've had the last three batteries in it and they still say that the water is getting to them but i think it's a design flaw in that but let's take a look at first of all i'll, I'll we'll revisit the battery box we'll take a look at that and i just redid the wiring up front so i haven't tied the wires up because i put the new unit in there and i put a new fuse box in there so let's take a look at all the stuff let's get into it. it's going to be pretty cool but guys thank you for subscribing thanks for watching you guys are awesome. Let's take a look and let's go. All right, first of all, let's take a look at what's inside of here. This is the waterproof housing battery box. I got my battery in there. It's wired to a cutoff switch. Um, put the foam on each side, just keeps the battery from moving around too much. And the cutoff switch, uh, and it's right there. It's kind of hid, but it's out of there. You just flip that on and that's how you um, shut the black box off and everything like that. I had this mounted right here, but this bar right here, when you close it, actually this one, presses on that and I didn't really like it. But let's go to the front. We're gonna go to the front of the boat. I just got off the lake, so decks full of rods and stuff like that. But I haven't tied the wires up yet. But here's what I've got. My black box is mounted in here. Oh, everything's right there. Right here, I got the hot wire coming in, the negative wire coming in right here. I've got, uh, first of all, this will be, you got, you got several different, this is the, this right here is the new 93 uh, XSV or 943 XSV. This one right here is the GPS map 1022. And this right here is the power box for the power wire for the black box. Uh, this is a really nifty setup, and I'll show you why. I'll show you why. We'll go back here. I'm going to flip this on. And like I said, those wires, I just did them yesterday. I turned it on. And let's take this off, because if you don't know, uh, if you don't know, you don't know. That's right. Double G's, baby. Garmin Guru. But if you look down in here, all right, let me, let me zoom in on this right here. If you blow a fuse, like right here, if it happens to blow, the light ends up. So you can very quickly look down in there, see if you have a problem, and see if you have a fuse out. And those fuses will be replaced with the proper fuse. I just bought the panel, got it on there. It has a cover, and put the cover on there. Everything looks nice and neat. Bam. Looks neat. Gonna tie those wires up, make them look real tidy, make them look real good. And the foot pedal, somebody asked me about that. It's running here. Let me get that back out. It's running here to a uh, literally a, just a, a hot and a negative wire. But guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. That's a quick tour of the wiring on my boat. Sorry, didn't mean to cut the end of that video short. UPS man was showing up. Little package from Garmin, baby. That is Garmin International. We'll add that in there. That's going to be a video coming up this week. Going to film some of that. Um, we got lots of different kind of videos. Still got the instructional videos that were that have pretty much made the page. But there's going to be some different type videos. And uh, like this wiring video, very cool video. Um, like I said, I'll be getting all the proper fuses in there. So fuse hounds don't hurt me on that. But. Uh, a lot of the stuff that we're doing, like I said, I left these loose and I left them loose for a reason. Uh, I'm going to put some like some Velcro around them, little Velcro strips. And I've got some of that to keep them a little tidier, but I kept them loose for a reason. That way I can unhook from different, from one unit to the next, unhook things. And I can do some testing and, and do those type of deals. But thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. You guys are awesome.